Ten years ago, 48,000 women, mothers, wives, sisters, died every year from breast cancer. Today, that number has dropped to 40,000, but still it's too high. That's why many women who are at high risk of getting breast cancer choose genetic testing. They want to know if they have the gene so they can be proactive about reducing their risk of getting the disease. More from Mayo Clinic. I enjoy competition. Pull. It's a sport that you win or lose on your own. Pull. To win a skeet shooting competition, breast cancer survivor Deb Holbein takes training seriously. That's also how she approaches breast cancer. It's my battle and um, no one else can can fight it for me. Deb's mom and aunt had breast cancer too. That meant Deb could be a carrier of one of two breast cancer genes, BRCA1 or BRCA2. So Deb chose genetic testing because she thought that information was the ammunition she'd need to reduce her risk of getting breast cancer. Dr. Sandhya Pruthi says if someone has one of these genes, that person has a 40 to 80 percent risk of developing breast cancer over their lifetime. So what should you do if you get the test and it's positive? Here are your options. Take medications such as tamoxifen that reduce your risk. Have surgery to remove your breasts. Have surgery to remove your ovaries. Participate in a clinical trial or close surveillance. Pull. Deb chose close monitoring with self-breast exams and mammograms. This allowed her to take aim at her cancer while it was still curable. I'm also on top of it. And Deb will continue to be on top of it as she uses the information genetic testing gave her to... Try to hone in on my skills and <laughs> to get the best shot at it. And I think it's working. Genetic testing helped Deb prepare for her diagnosis of cancer. The test is offered only to high-risk women like Deb who have a strong family history of the disease, among other factors. The test, which is a blood test, is very accurate, but it is not foolproof. If you have a negative result, meaning no gene was detected, there's a 15% chance you may have another genetic mutation that the test missed. So it's important to talk to a genetic counselor about the test and options for prevention that are right for you. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.